The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, by the will of God, an apostle of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God in Corinth, and to all God's holy people in the whole of Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father and the God who gives every possible encouragement. He supports us in every hardship so that we are able to come to the support of others and in every hardship of theirs because of the encouragement that we ourselves receive from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ overflow into our lives, so too does the encouragement we receive through Christ. So if we have hardships to undergo, this will contribute to your encouragement and your salvation. If we receive encouragement, this is to gain for you the encouragement which enables you to bear with perseverance the same sufferings as we do. So our hope for you is secure in the knowledge that you share the encouragement we receive, no less than the sufferings we bear. And our response is taken from Psalm 34. I will praise Yahweh from my heart. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of Yahweh. Let us acclaim his name together. I seek Yahweh and he answers me, frees me from all my fears. Fix your gaze on Yahweh and your face will grow bright. You will never hang your head in shame. A pauper calls out and Yahweh hears, saves him from all his troubles. The angel of Yahweh encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Taste and see that Yahweh is good. How blessed are those who take refuge in him. Fear Yahweh, you his holy ones. Those who fear him lack for nothing. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went on to the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the gentle. They shall have the earth as inheritance. Blessed are those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for uprightness. They shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be recognized as children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of uprightness. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. The Gospel of the Lord.